Welcome, everybody. My name is Lars Eric Robinson. I'm with Lars Arts. Today, I thought we'd talk about how to airbrush T-shirts. The first thing I do when I put this T-shirt on here is I put it on some foam core. And you could tape it in the back. You take these things and you tape them behind. But because it's just a demonstration today, you want to have it tight here so that all the so it's on there even. Then usually you start from light to dark because you have to understand that you can never go on top of this with a lighter color once you get to dark. So I wrote awesome because I believe airbrushing is awesome. So I, now I'm taking a different color. I used blue in the beginning. Now if you want to get, get this effect, you could always use stencils on, on uh, and I made my own stencils. So I'm doing like a little chrome effect on here. So you take your airbrush and you go like that. I'm just taking it to the side of the. Look at that. So how to airbrush t-shirts. So just a reminder to you guys, always remember, start out lighter, go darker. And when you go on top of this color, you're going to notice that it gets purple. Like, for example, if I go on top of this red, or where the blue areas are, you're going to notice it, gets, it turns to be purple. So that can work in your advantage, too. So once again, my name is Lars Eric Robinson. I hope you can understand a little bit more how to do airbrush t-shirts. Once you're done with it, you just uh, put a hair dryer on it, and then uh, you, you can wash it. You wait a couple of days before you wash it. Enjoy. Thank you so much.